Trichomonas vulgaris is a serious autoimmune skin condition causing bully to form. It is rare, affecting 1 to 10 per million people worldwide. And bully form because antibodies are produced against desmoglein 3 and desmoglein 1 in the desmosomes. And this causes the keratinocytes or skin cells to separate and fall apart, resulting in bulla formation. It is associated with HLA DR4 and DRW6 and occurs more frequently in Jewish people, people from the Middle East, Southeast Europe and India. Clinically there are large flaccid peripherally enlarging blisters that rupture easily. The Nikolsky sign is positive in 50% of cases the bully start off in the mouth. Other areas affected include the face, neck, axillae and trunk and also the pharynx, larynx, conjunctivi, vulva, anus and esophagus and in 90% of cases there are oromucosal bully at some time. Histologically, the first change to occur in pemphigus vulgaris is intercellular edema. Then there is loss of intercellular bridges in the lower epidermis and the keratinocytes start to separate. This is acanthalysis and this will result in a suprabasal bulla forming. So key histological features are a suprabasal bulla the basal cells remain attached to the dermis, but the sides of the basal cells separate rather like tombstones, and within the bulla there may be single cells and clusters of cells. This is the earliest change in Pemphigus vulgaris. There is edema or spongiosis affecting the lower epidermis. The keratinocytes in the lower epidermis start to separate. This is acanthalysis. And the acanthalysis leads to bulla formation. And this is a low power view of a typical bulla in Pemphigus vulgaris with the suprabasal location. Here is a higher power view of a suprabasal bulla in Pemphigus vulgaris. And this high power view of the base of a bulla in Pemphigus vulgaris shows the basal cells that are still stuck to the upper dermis, but the sides of the basal cells have separated, resulting in appearance similar to that of tombstones or gravestones.